WhatsApp has officially announced that users will now be able to transfer their WhatsApp chat history from iOS to Android. The feature is currently limited to migrating WhatsApp chat history from an iPhone to a Samsung device that runs Android 10 or newer and will be available on more Android devices soon. To transfer WhatsApp chat history from iPhone to a Samsung phone, both devices must be connected using a USB-C to lightning cable. Users migrating chat must also be using the same phone number on the new device and the Samsung smartphone must be factory new or reset to factory settings. The Redmi 10 Prime smartphone has been launched in India. The Redmi 10 Prime display is a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus panel with a 90Hz refresh rate. It's powered by a MediaTek Helio G88 processor and gets up to 6GB LPDDR4X RAM with RAM expansion. There's a quad camera setup on the back of the Redmi 10 Prime with a 50MP primary sensor, an 8MP ultrawide sensor, a 2MP depth sensor and a 2MP macro sensor, while the front-facing selfie camera is an 8MP sensor. The Redmi 10 Prime gets a 6000 mAh battery under the hood, up to 128 GB internal storage, a side-mounted fingerprint scanner and Android 11. Prices for the Redmi 10 Prime start at 12,499 rupees for the 4 GB RAM 64 GB storage variant, while the 6 GB RAM 128 GB storage model has been priced at 14,499 rupees. The Redmi 10 Prime will go on sale in India from September 7th via Amazon India, Mi Home Stores and other retail locations. Alongside the Redmi 10 Prime, the brand has also launched its Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro True Wireless Earbuds in India. They are a rebadged version of the Redmi Air Dots 3 that were launched in China in February and come with dual dynamic drivers and an IPX4 rated design for water resistance. The Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro run on the Qualcomm QCC3040 chip and come with Bluetooth version 5.2, aptX adaptive codec support, touch controls and a claimed battery life of up to 30 hours. The Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro have been priced at 2,999 rupees in India and they will go on sale from September 9th. Samsung has unveiled its new flagship image sensor, the ISOCELL HP1. It comes with a 200 megapixel resolution and can achieve both 12.5 megapixel and 50 megapixel outputs thanks to Samsung's chameleon cell pixel binning method. Capable of shooting video in 8K resolution at 30 fps, the HP1 sensor is reportedly smaller than the ISOCELL GN2 sensor and may be seen on Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S22 Ultra flagship smartphone. Meanwhile, Samsung has also introduced the ISOCELL GN5 50MP sensor. It marks the debut of Samsung's front deep trench isolation technology on a dual pixel design and sports all-directional autofocusing technology.